Hey, what's up guys? Okay, check it out. So some of you guys might have woke up this morning and signed on to Trust Wallet only to find a message from Apple saying that they removed the browser feature from Trust Wallet. Now this is an issue you're only going to have if you're using Apple. And so today I'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem. And there are two solutions. The first solution is to get an Android phone. Get rid of your Apple device. I've had enough. Just get yourself an Android phone. I'm not kidding. But if you cannot live with your Apple phone, there is a fix to this method and we're going to go over that today. So looking at my phone here, looking in Trust Wallet, you can see that the browser on the bottom has been disabled. So you've got no connection to get to Pancake Swap. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your browser and you're going to open up your web Safari browser. Then you're going to put into the search pancake swap and you're going to come over here to pancake swap. At the top, you're going to see connect. You're going to click connect and then here you're going to choose the option wallet connect. And then it's going to open up the screen right here and it's going to give you options which to choose. You're going to choose trust wallet with the shield right up here. Trust. So you click on trust. And it's going to take you to pancake swap and it's going to ask you to connect and so you're going to connect and it's connecting your address and then it tells you you can now go back to your browser so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your browser your safari and then you're going to see here that your wallet has connected now if you're doing this for the first time what you're going to want to do probably if you run into a little bit of difficulties like it's not connecting you're going to go over here and you're going to go to trade and you're going to go to exchanges first. This is where you're going to do your buying and your selling anyway, right? So if you're doing this for the first time, what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your contract address and you're going to put it into here into the select and choose whatever currency that you're going to want to buy. And then you're going to click connect from the exchange place here. And then you're going to connect wallet connect. And I've done it already a couple times. So it automatically connects me. But if it's your first time, it's going to redirect you back to trust wallet and you choose trust wallet and then it's going to bring you back. So that is the second way to fix it. It's a little bit annoying because trust wallet is not banned. They just ban the browser, the, the decentralized DAP but you are still able to connect from your web browser. So all it is is you just have to jump through that little bit of hoop. And if you close this and then you go back to Trust Wallet, it's going to show that you're still connected. So in order for you to actually view your wallet and all your other tokens, you're going to have to cancel this. And if you cancel this, you're disconnecting from Canking Swap. So you're going back to your wallet. So then now if you go back to the Pancake Swap in your web browser, it might disconnect. And then you would just do that again. You would connect. So it's really dumb. I hate Apple for doing it, but it still works. You just have to go back and forth from your browser to the Trust Wallet app. It's not going to work in the Trust Wallet app. And then, and so my first fix in regards to just getting rid of your Apple phone and getting an Android, maybe a Samsung phone or LG or whatever the case might be, you will not have these problems with Android, only with iOS Apple. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps. Once you get used to jumping back and forth from your browser to the app, it becomes second nature. Anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.